Elijah Wood, the teen star of North, the ice storm and the faculty rang in his twenties as Frodo Baggins, the unassuming hobbit tasked with trekking to Mordor to destroy the One Ring in the fires of Mount Doom. Easier said than done, while he may never outrun his hobbit past, Wood remains a busy, adventurous actor, with credits including Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, Sin City, Everything is Illuminated, Happy Feet, Nine, the FX series Wilfred, Dirk Gently's Holistic Detective Agency and Drunk History. It was reported in February 2019 that Wood had welcomed his first child with girlfriend Meta Marie Kongsford. Sean Aston, the former child actor known for The Goonies, Encino Man and Rudy kept the whole LOTR mission on track as the sensible, brave and, above all, loyal Samwise Ganges. And Aston has continued to show up, in recent years on The Big Bang Theory, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, Stranger Things, Rip Superhero Bob, and Young Rock, plus he voiced Raphael on the rebooted Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and he'll be on the second season of HBO's Perry Mason. Aston has three daughters, Alexandra, who played Sam's child Eleanor in LOTR, Elizabeth and Isabella, with wife Christine Herald. Ian McKellen, the international treasure, fresh from an Oscar nomination for 1998's Gods and Monsters, was busy playing Magneto in the X-Men movies as well as Gandalf in LOTR. He won a SAG award, and was nominated for another Oscar, for supporting actor in Fellowship of the Ring. McKellen has done a host of Broadway since, including King Lear, The Seagull and, with BFF Patrick Stewart, Waiting for Godot, co-starred with Derek Jacobi as one half of a bickering longtime couple in the UK. Series Vicious, reprised the roles of Gandalf in the Hobbit trilogy and Magneto in more X-Men movies, portrayed a bee-keeping Sherlock in Mr. Holmes and Don Whiskers for Cats. Andy Serkis, the English actor secured his place in the Motion Capture Hall of Fame for his haunting turn as Gollum, but it turned out he was adept at all kinds of acting, though he also memorably played creatures in King Kong and the Planet of the Apes franchise. A sampling from the past decade, Circus returned to Middle-earth for the Hobbit films, joined the MCU in The Avengers, Age of Ultron and Black Panther, played Snoke in the most recent Star Wars trilogy and was a more laid Alfred in The Batman. He also directed Venom, Let There Be Carnage and is attached to make the next film in the franchise, as well as direct.